Welcome back guys to Investing Beginners. I'm just going to be going through uh, over the portfolio, my dividend portfolio from Free Trade. It currently stands at £2,255.34. pence. I think I worked out a couple of days ago that I've invested around £2,100. So it's a growth of £155, including dividends and any capital gains that I receive on the portfolio. I'm also going to be going through with you all the stocks that I've got, how much I've got invested, how many shares, and the latest ones I've also purchased in my latest round of um, investing. So here we go on the first one. The first one is Verizon. I own seven shares of these around average price of £45.91, down 1.8% at the moment, around £5, but Verizon, they've been doing quite well for me, a bit up and down as you can see over the last month, but due a dividend next month from there, I think it should be around about three, three or four pounds. And the next one is uh, AT&T. Even though um, I think I don't think they're at the best buying point right now, I still thought I'd take advantage of buying a couple more shares. I'm currently uh, currently up around up around nineteen pounds, twelve shares of an average price of twenty four pound ninety two. As you can see, I bought some, bought two more shares on the eighth of July, fifty four pounds, and two on the twenty fifth of June, which. For fifty one pounds. The next one is Abvi, as you all know, they had um, a bit of a bad, bit of a bad crash, as to say, but I just saw that as a really good buying opportunity, and um, bought two more shares for one hundred and five pound and eighty three pence. As you can see, compared to the one at the early early in June, compared to the end of June, it's a significant difference. So I thought that was quite a good good price to get in on. Um, I own five shares, average price of £58.33. The next one on my list is Coca-Cola. I haven't actually bought any shares of these for a good while now because I think they're quite high at the minute. But I have seven shares with an average price of £36.96 and up 11.62%, which is £30, which is really good. I do think I'll be investing in a couple more shares of coca-cola in the next month or two the next one we have is colgate i've got um three shares in colgate average price of 57 pound and 72 pence and a growth of 1.414 percent sorry we need to buy some more of these next month as well the next one is imperial brands these also been a bit up and down recently Six shares I hold of these with the average average price of twenty pounds and twenty pence. Next on the list we have Ford. I've uh, recently purchased quite a few more of these recently. Been a bit up and down as you can see in the last month as the stocks as the stock market generally does. I have fourteen shares, average price of eight pounds and two pence, up point seven nine percent. I bought shares on the fi- eight, five shares on the eighth of July and one share on the twenty eighth of June. Next we have Johnson and Johnson. I just had the one share in Johnson and Johnson. I'm looking to buy more because I think really good solid blue chip dividend stock. I currently have one share, average price one hundred and five pounds and four pence, and up five point five seven percent or five pound eighty five. Johnson and Johnson. The next one we have a US corporate bond. Actually, I got a dividend off these, a monthly paying dividend, which is nice. I'm looking to add a few more of these. I have two shares, average price of forty two pounds and eight pence, up two point one four percent. US corporate bond. Next we have Royal Dutch Shell. Three shares of Royal Dutch Shell, average price of twenty four pounds and eighty four pence. For dollar cost averaging, it's below at the moment. That's what you always look to try and aim for, to get lower than your latest dollar cost averaging. Next up, we have is Barrett's Real Estate Developments. I have uh, 11 shares of Barrett's at an average price of uh, £5.93, up 3.55%. 
not buying shares these for a while. I'm looking to always lad and where and when I can. Next up on the list, we have Aviva, which I currently own 14 shares with an average price of 4.12 percent. 4.12. Um, my apologies. Next on the list we have is BP. I own 10 shares of BP with an average price of £5.52. I own 10 shares as well of BP, another solid company. Next up is Bank of America. I own 2 shares with an average price of £21.96 and it's currently up 6.24% or £2.74. I also received a dividend off them recently as well, which is always nice. Next up is Wells Fargo. I currently own one share of Wells Fargo with an average price of £35.88, which you can see is up 4.46% or £1.60. Sorry about my throat, guys. I've just um, been out doing some running. It's a bit hoarse. Also, the hay fever is really bad at this time of year. Next on the list we have Taylor Wimpy. I'm actually due a dividend off these tomorrow, which is always nice. I own currently own 14 shares, an average price of £1.81, which is down 10% at the moment, or £2.75. Next up is National Grid. I currently own three shares with an average price of £8.22, up 2.51%. Or 0 0.62 pence. And then is Lloyd's. I have um, currently on 33 shares in Lloyd's. At an average price of 63 pence. It's currently down 7.62%. And also Commercial Property Trust. Which is. I own 16 shares of. Average price of £1.18. Or up. 85, 0.85%. Oh, another monthly paying dividend stock, I might add. And last on the list is Vodafone. I'm really holding these up because I'm aiming to wait until 5G kicks off because I think this company will do really well once that hits. I own five shares with an average price of £1.35 and it's down 1.33%. Excuse me. So yeah, guys, that's the latest um, portfolio update. I'm also going to, um, over the next couple of months, try and aim to add a few more stocks to the portfolio. I've got my eye on a, on a couple. I've got my eye on Starbucks, Microsoft, and Apple, as well as also trying to dive into some ETFs, i.e. the S&P 500, for example. These are just the ones I've got my eyes on for the next few months. So that's it for today's portfolio update, guys. Please smash the subscribe button and the like button. And I'll be back soon with some more investing videos. Take care, guys. Bye.